My name is Xin Yu. I'm from Princeton University. I'm glad to present our work, Mitigating Membership Inference Attacks by Self-Desolation Through a Novel Ensemble Architecture. This is a joint work with my collaborators, Saeed, Li Wei, Pratik from Princeton University, and Virat Milad Amir from UMass Amherst. In this work, we focus on membership inference attacks against the machine learning models under the black box access assumption. So the machine learning model will only output the predictions for each query, and for the target sample, the attacker will make corresponding queries to a target machine learning model and guess whether this sample is used to train the model or not. Membership inference attacks can lead to substantial privacy leakage. First, this attack can reveal pri private information in real-world scenarios. For example, knowing a victim's presence in the hospital analytic data set reveals that this victim was once a patient in this hospital. Second, this attack can be foundation of stronger attacks, such as data extraction attacks from large language models. As membership inference attacks impose a severe privacy threat, we need to design defenses against these attacks. And to design defenses, we first need to understand how membership inference attack works. The success of membership inference attacks is usually because the machine learning models have different behaviors on members and non-members. So he here, the members are samples in the training set, and non-members are samples not in the training set. I use a red color for members and blue color for non-members. So it might look a little strange on the presentation, but I hope this color works. And so here is a distribution of cross-entropy loss on members and non-members. And we can see the significant difference between these two distributions. And our defense intuition is that we should enforce a model to behave similarly on all samples, so both include members and non-members. In this work, we propose a new membership inference defenses called Sanana to enforce a model to behave similarly on members and non-members. So the training data is first used to train the machine learning models in our first component, split AI. After that, we will do the self distillation and after the self distillation process, we finally output the final protected model. The experimental results show that our defense can achieve a good utility privacy trade-off. We can achieve both high classification accuracy and also effectively mitigate the practical membership inference attacks. I will first introduce our design intuition, and after that, I will explain our defense framework. So we need to enforce a model to behave similarly on members and non-members. But how? Let's consider two samples. Sample A is in the training set, and sample B is not in the training set. We then train a machine learning model using this training set, and we can see that sample A here is a member for this machine learning model. Then, for the member sample A, the curve A will follow the distribution of members, and for the non-member B, the curve B will follow the distribution of non-members. How can we make these two queries to follow the same distribution? So, how about removing A from the training set before the model training? Now, sample A and B both are not in the training set. And we will train a new machine learning model from scratch by using this new training set. And we can see here sample A is a non-member, so the curve A will follow the distribution of non-members. And so sample B is also non-member, so curve B also follows the distribution of non-members. So now both queries follow the same distribution, which is good. However, the problem here is that we cannot remove all points from training set as we still need training data to train the models. So how about we consider this design on multiple models? This motivates our design of split AI. Here is a training procedure in split AI. We will train K sub models in total, so we need K subsets. Each training sample will only appear in K minus L of the K subsets, so each training sample is member for K minus L sub models and now member for the remaining L sub models. Here, consider A as a member sample and is used to train the top and the middle model, so A is a non member for the bottom model. After we generate the subsets, we can train each sub model with one subset, and this is a training procedure in split AI. Now I will explain adaptive inference in split AI. The intuition for adaptive inference follows our design intuition. So sample A is a member and sample B is a non-member. 
So the bottom model is now trained with sample A and B. So the query of A and B on the bottom model should both follow the distribution of non-members. Specifically, let's use UX to denote some models which are now trained with this member sample X. If the query sample is a member, we will average the prediction vectors on the member sample X by only using L sub models which are not trained with this member sample. So here, for the member sample X, only the bottom model is not trained with A, so we'll use this bottom model to get the output predictions. If the query sample is a non-member, we will randomly select a member sample X prime, and we will average the prediction vectors on X by using as sub models which are not trained with the non-member sample X, a member sample X prime. So for the non-member sample B, so suppose the randomly select member sample is A, which decided that we should choose a bottom model. So we use this bottom model to get the output predictions, which also follow the distribution of non-members. We analyze the privacy implication of split AI. So if the attacker only directly queries the model on the target sample once, we call this attack as direct single query attack, which is also one major attack of direct single, of membership inference attacks. We prove in our paper that, that the attacker cannot infer the membership of this sample under the direct single query attack. The intuitive explanation here is that no matter whether this sample is used to train split AI or not, the output distribution of this sample are identical. However, the attacker is not limited to only directly querying the target sample. So here, for the member sample A, instead of querying A, the attacker can add small noise to sample A and turn A into A prime. Fleet AI will regard A prime as a non-member and might use the models which are trained with X prime. For example, might use a top model and the final predictions will follow the distribution of members. The perturbed member attack motivates our design of second component, self distillation We now already have a model split AI which behaves similarly both on members and non-members from a direct single query attack perspective, and we want a new model to behave similarly from this perspective. To do this, we consider distillation by using the training a new model using the soft labels of the training set. As we are using the exact same training set, we call this process as self distillation After the distillation process, we will remove split AI and soft labels and only allow the queries to, the final, to this new model. A transferability of neural networks enable the new model to have similar good property as split AI. So this new model will also behave similarly, both on members and non-members, from a direct single query attack perspective. Moreover, the new model also solves the limitation of split AI in the perturbed member attack. In the distillation process, we will only query each exact training sample once, and the attacker only has the X, can only query the final protect model and cannot interact with the distillation process. And that's all for the, our design differences. And for evaluation, we consider three data sets, which are also widely used in previous membership privacy research. And here is those statistics for training samples and also mode architecture. We also investigate different mode architectures for the ablation study. In the following slides, I will focus on purchase 100 with this default setting. We compare our defenses with two state-of-art membership inference of defenses, including adversary regularization and memguard. We also include undefended model as a baseline. For the evaluation metric, we consider the utility privacy trade-off. So we consider the classification accuracy for utility. And for privacy analysis, we consider the membership inference average attack accuracy, where the baseline in random guess equal to 50%. So here is the results. The defense method includes the undefended model, meme guard, adverse regularization, and all defense. And we have accuracy on test set, the higher the better, and also the best attack accuracy, the lower the better. Compare our defense to undefended model and meme guard, our defense only increased 3.9% classification accuracy drop, but the membership inference attacks is much more reduced. Our defense is 13% lower than undefended model, and 11.5% lower than meme guard. Compare our defense to the adversary regularization, we can see that our defense can achieve both higher classification accuracy and also lower best membership attack accuracy. 
For more experimental results, please check our paper. In this work, we propose a new membership inference defenses called Sanana, consists of self split I and self isolation. Our defense lies in the categorical membership defenses of empirical membership privacy and high utility. And as shown by the red plot, where the x axis is classification accuracy, the, the writer, the better, and also the y axis is membership attack accuracy, the lower, the better. Our defense can achieve a better utility membership privacy trade off compared to previous defenses. We hope our work can provide insights on membership privacy, either on how to improve the utility for the DP based approach or how to provide a more provable guarantee for our defenses without losing utility. Also, feel free to check the artifact on our GitHub page. Thank you. Now I'm ready for questions. <laughs>